Well, there is such a thing as celebrity houses. It's like when you buy an antique. The provenance is very important. And it's a beautiful house and it's done beautifully. And she lived there and she was definitely an icon. Well, the property is on Long Island Sound and it's at the eastern tip of Fenwick. It sits on 3.4 acres, surrounded by the waters of Long Island to the south and the pond to the north. Adjacent are more than three additional acres that were designed to remain open forever by Catherine Hepburn. She never wanted anybody to build there. It was given to the trust for preservation, so it gives you an incredible privacy. There had been a terrible hurricane years ago that had torn down her original house. And so when she rebuilt this one, they probably put in jetties. So the main house, you have a beach with two jetties to really protect the property. And then you have a dock. Catherine Otten, that was her niece uh, who was in a movie with her, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. And she's still around, she's an actress. Uh, Mr. Sammy lifted the house five and a half feet. It was below water level. I mean, the water would come in all the time. He saved the house. He really did. It could have been torn down because the house was really in this incredible disrepair. Nothing had been done to it in all those years. He stayed on the outside pretty close to the original. I mean, those columns weren't there. You know, this patio wasn't there like that. And you have a wraparound porch, it wasn't there before. It's all been totally redone. And the interior, very much so. Which is a lot of work to do, and a lot of uh, smarts, and a lot of creativity. And that's great, because now we have a landmark of the Catherine Hepburn house. The foyer was totally opened up. The ceilings were way lower, and the staircase was really a small staircase. This is the living room. If I'm not mistaken, I think that used to be the dining room. And then he put in French doors. Save the fireplaces. I think there's seven fireplaces. Since we live in such a cold climate, years ago they kept the rooms very small. But she, her living room, which is not the family room, was always very large. Very large and a big fireplace. This is your health bath, which is very well done. This is your pantry. There used to be two kitchens, one on the second floor and one on the first floor, because she lived with her brother, and her brother lived on the second floor, and he had his own entrance, and she had her own entrance, and then he had his own kitchen. That was a pretty big kitchen, but the kitchen is not where it is now. I think this was the old kitchen. It was closer to the garage, and this part was part of the old kitchen. He took some of the entranceway, the old entranceway, and some of the old living room, and incorporated into dining room, kitchen. It's very hard for me to rem even remember what it was like. It's very hard. When we first put the house on the market after she died, there were no furniture in it. Sotheby's had an auction and took all her furniture. It was too big of a house to stage, so we had an empty house. So to make it look like it was part of it, we took some of those photographs and blew them up and put them on the walls. When he bought the house, he wanted the photographs with it, so we left it. But he had them framed. That was a nice thing to do. It's a landing on the third floor that houses two other bedroom suites. It used to be a lot of little rooms, and it's been totally gutted and opened up. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. That's one of the bedrooms. That's the, one of the full beds up there, one of them. Very nice, yeah. The master bedroom. It's been all reconfigurated, except he saved the fireplace and he put in the banquettes and opened up the windows. It used to be smaller windows, but now you really get an incredible feel of the view. You're facing Long Island Sound and then you're facing the Connecticut River. And then you're looking at the lighthouse from this banquette. That's your little porch, very nice. You're looking at Long Island Sound. And on a clear day, you can really almost think you can touch it. This is the master bedroom bath, which is really lovely. This is part of the master, and there's a sitting room where you go out onto a sun porch to take some sun. 
things change with generational. You know, architecture changes and interiors change. People change. And so now this is the way that everybody wants to live. You know, open, bright light. The light. The light that comes into the house. And a natural light. That's really what's nice. You're at the beach, you want to have that natural light. It used to be very dark which was great, it was like a camp, you know, and a lot of little rooms. But now it's really a family house. It's not a, just a camp, you know, I mean, you really can live in there. It's very nicely done. I think she would love it because it's, it's done. I mean, she would have not have done it herself. She was a real Yankee. If it's not broke, don't fix it. But if it, somebody had done it, she had gone away and come back and, how can you not? How can you not? If she would see it today, she would love it. She was tasteful, she loved beautiful things. She would have loved it, yeah. It's very soulful. It would be a nice family, you know, youngish, with a lot of kids. And because Fenwick is a great family place. You know, you have golf, you have tennis, you have swimming, you have boating, and you have lots of programs for kids. Oh, it would, could be another movie star. I would love to see Meryl Streep play it, <laughs> you know? Somebody, or Kate Blanchett who played Catherine Hepburn, you know, that would be the fantasy. I don't think that would happen. But a nice family, yeah.